Hello, good sir. <laughs> Have you ordered the visit of the doctor? Hi guys, I'm and welcome back to Vampire. Welcome back. Are you guys having a delicious blood? Are you having a wonderful evening in the plagued London? Yes, you do. Well, this is just fantastic, isn't it? Well then, gentlemen and ladies, and actually, ladies and gentlemen, um, we need to do a little bit of uh, crafting event because I want to do some more investigations today. And if I remember correctly, okay, this guy needs uh, has some grain. Okay, this guy is recovering, so that's nice. Okay, you have fatigue, and you have also fatigue. I think I have these cures for that thing. If I could only find them, uh, fatigue. Okay, I don't have any one of those things. Okay, what's the other one? What's the other disease that this guy had? Migraine. Okay, do I have a migraine treat, uh, treatment? No, I do not. Okay. So I need to look for like more blueprints apparently for more medicines to craft because apparently I don't have the ones I kinda need. Yeah, I don't have those things. Okay, can I craft this thing? Yes, I fucking can. Okay, I need two. There we go. So we're gonna solve a little bit of problems. Migraine. I don't have a cure for migraine. I kinda like wonder where exactly I can get that, get that thing. Probably in the hospital. Which is not exactly super nice. If you're gonna think about that thing. Okay, so... Uh, Krista Popa and Clayton Debris, De Darby, whatever his name is, they're at the hospital, uh, at the church actually. Okay, this guy, Darius, and uh, Richard Nickercott. Okay, Colt and Brachotnis. Do I can craft that things as well? Brachotnis. I can. Well, I can, but I don't have resources. Okay, and the other one has Colt apparently. This one. Okay. Let's grab this thing one more and, you know, we're gonna heal him on the way out. Alright, so let's go to the... Oh! Oh, I haven't cleared this place? Well, this is just nice. Gentlemen! Hello, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're fine, because I am very fine indeed. Now, your friend, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with you. Come, mm, you taste like trash, but still, I love to drink trash like you. G guys, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, come on! What? Oh! Oh, yeah, I ran out of HP. <laughs> Good job, you! Good job! Now, where the shit is the person I need to cure? This is the crazy priest, so I talked with him a little tiny bit in the previous episode. He's not exactly that important for now. The journalist was somewhere over here. So where the shit he has disappeared? Maybe he's in his shack, <laughs> or maybe he's not. I doubt it that he's outside, but we have to check it. I don't remember, I think I spoke with the copper guy, whatever his name was, at some point during my exploration around here. However, I do not exactly remember where I was. Hello? Oh, he just fucking spawned out of the air. Okay, this is not exactly nice. Gentlemen? Stop! <laughs> I don't know what you want to touch you over there, but allow me to introduce you to the Painville. Tickets free of charge. Ouch. Okay. Speaking of Painville. <laughs> okay. One bit. Ow. Motherfucker. How fucking dare you? Okay, let me deal with you, friend. Now, are you aware that I'm gonna feed on you? I think you are. Good. Now, come here. Nom <laughs> you look at that. A fucking hole in the wall. Okay, what's this? Okay, bottle of alcohol. Well, I'm definitely gonna need some alcohol after this ex exploration. Uh, oh, okay. This is the... This is one of the guys. What in the shit he's doing? I don't know. Okay, let's do the treat him to him, but also I need to look for the journalist. I think the journalist is behind him? No, that's Camellia. Dude, the shit you're doing with your life? Good evening, Mr. Nithercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Yeah, if you could be so kind, I actually like, bleed out so I can take you fucking thing. Uh, right, your life in London. What are your thoughts on the terrible situation in the city? Terrible, you say? No. Of course, the death of so many innocents is a tragedy. But the scourge has not been all bad for the city. Oh, no, sir. What are you talking about? Do you remember London before the flu? Noisy, cacophonic quiet nowhere to be found and now listen to this oddly peaceful silence you know what i wanted to do like the run where i k 
to you, everybody. But then I found out that I have to uh, basically do the quests because if I'm gonna kill everybody, the district will go into shit and I won't be able to do anything. I think I know who's gonna be the first person I'm gonna kill. Just saying. Yes. The enjoyable silence of the grave. You have a unique perspective on the situation, I must admit. Most people fail to understand my perspective. I don't blame them. But how could I call myself a poet if I veiled my feelings? How can you call yourself a moron without actually being a poet, apparently? Uh, okay, nothing over here. Have you recent I think I asked about him. About Are you live in London? Okay, I asked him about... Every oh, wait! You. I wanted to check your... Good evening. Yeah, I'm Stand wasting greedy. medicines on this moron. Really? Okay, uh... Press for details. Okay, uh, can I check up? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. Yeah, well, your face looks like a piece of shit, just saying. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. I bet your blood is gonna taste like trash. I'll leave you alone, sir. I'm I'm almost certain about this thing, you know. I'm so certain that you're gonna tra taste like trash in general. So I'm just gonna leave you over here and hope you're gonna like I don't know, catch a cold so bad that I won't be able to cure it. And the only way actually to like end your suffering would be just to stab you in the face. I honestly, honestly hope so. That that's gonna be the outcome. Editor refused letters. Well, well, well. Let's look a lot. What the hell are the letter thingies? Um, okay, editor refusal letter. Okay. Dear Mr. Nickercott, thank you for sending you books of poems, songs from the defense that defeated city, which we found an interesting as profound as we told you the first time we received it. Alas, in the terrible times our country is currently facing, you must understand that such title would be totally inappropriate to any publication. Thus, since you still refuse to change your title and demand the full publication of none of your work, I'm sorry to announce you that Sipcrans Publishing choose the second option. With kind of guards, M.G. Morris. Interesting. New hint. Okay, can I get... Actually, I, I think I should probably check the remaining letters as well. Uh, job refusal letter. Medical file. Thomas Elwood. News Crane. My dear Dorothy, when you read this letter, I'll be on the boat with, uh, that will take a ton and me back to Brasov, England was not for us. And I confess I cannot wait to see... Oh, I think those were the things I was supposed to read before I spoke with Dorothy. Voucher, Dr. Swan's message, long letter, Pippa Hawkins, death report, Pombroke Hospital, pornography in the wallet, mutant news, Hawkins forever. Uh, orders, turn on the page of a diary, blood diary, Okay, I don't think I have anything else more, most important. Let's see, is that I can think of? Oh, yes, Camellia, we haven't talked with you. Hello. Hello again, miss. Yeah, she's like, she she's mute, she, she doesn't talk. Tell me about Richard Nickel. <laughs> Tell me about Richard Nithercote. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Yep, yeah, just as I thought, she's not gonna say anything. Very well. Goodbye. <laughs> I do wonder in the end of the like quest, can you like make her speak? Okay, didn't find the journalist. I don't know where the journalist went. Where in the shit is the journalist? Don't tell me that he wandered off and he got himself killed, because that would be very bad for me. I mean, he has to be somewhere around. Where the fuck is that guy? The journalist was somewhere here around. I'm almost certain of this thing. And yet he disappeared. Is this that the guy? There he is. I was looking for you, moron! Come over here. Good evening, doctor. Can I help you? Yes, can you breathe loud? Personal questions. Okay, nothing. Uh, investigation. Nothing. Uh, okay, let's just do you a checkup. Do you need assistance? That would be nice of you, doctor. Who knows what I may have caught during my investigation. Yeah, give medicine. If you persist in investigating the most pox-ridden boroughs of London, you must accept the risks. Thank you, sir. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't think you're gonna tell me anything interesting. Yeah. 
So, hint required. I need to find a Good hint mind. on you. Mr. Derby. I do wonder where I can get a hint on you, you know? I think it's actually time to speak. Oh, Christina Paul. Wait, you are related to... Ah, you are related to the reporter. All right, so let's start with you. Hello. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. E? No, no, no. You're filthy and you're old and you stink. Personal question. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Yeah, well, okay, that's actually quite understandable. You don't judge you, you should try to find another job. That was your decision to sell your body. Well, it wasn't exactly her decision, but technically it was. I'm not gonna judge her. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna find out about that thing probably very soon. Personal questions. Life in London. About Clayton Derby investigation. Clayton Derby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Are you talking from experience? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Oh! Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? True. She has a point. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. Well, live with it. Your line of work has many health risks. Uh, what about your client's health? You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? <laughs> if you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. I'm a doctor, woman. There's no honor in my job, I just do it. Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Good to know, okay. Good to know. It's good to know where we are standing, actually. What do you know? Have I asked you about this thing? Okay, probably I did. Okay, so I didn't learn anything interesting Goodbye. whatsoever about you. Okay, uh, let's see. Do not cough in public. Yeah, you don't say. Uh, stay at home. Yeah, that's probably a very good idea. Especially if you don't have any fucking food around you, deep hitch. Uh, okay, come. Ah, yes, I wanted to give you fatigue. Fatigue. I need to give you like a medicine. Yes, yes. Camellia. Hello, it's me again. How are you? Change your oh, it's Christina, whatever. Do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. Uh, oof. I don't know, how about you're gonna answer my questions next time more politely? I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. See? This is the difference between you Goodbye, and me. Take care of yourself yeah. as best you can. And don't get in my way. Well, 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 she's about to do something. Okay. Let's follow her. Investigate citizens' actions. She is about to do something. Alright. Now, where I need to stand? Because this, when you get this... Oh. Oh, looks like she's about to go talk with our good old... Journalist person. Let's see. Ah, this is the point I need to stand. Okay. You guys just do the shit. And I'm gonna stand over here, okay? <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> 
You still want more from Christina? When we spent the night together, my wallet went missing. Are you calling me a thief? I don't have your stupid wallet. I know you. You're a nice girl. Can't we solve this amicably? No, I don't think so. And if you think you know me just because we shared the bed together, you're just a lousy and arrogant journalist. Oh, you shared a bed together. Really? Well, well, well. Look at the ship that go around the wolf. Well, in this actual occasion, I'm not a fucking werewolf, just saying, because the werewolves stick in this game, and they have flies and everything, so ugh, disgusting. Is this actually safe to jump? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nobody heard anything. Oh, come on, you... It's locked, all right. Give me the fucking key to that stupid ass door. Yes, personal questions. This woman really stole your wallet? Tell me, Clayton. Do you really think this young woman stole your wallet? Christina. Yes. I recently met her. A nice girl. Despite her questionable conduct. Ha! Huh. Smartass. But apparently you have enjoyed the... Spent time together in the bed. Mr. Clayton. Tell me your sins. How exactly did you meet Christina? During my investigation. I offered my hotel room to her to rest and get away from the street. And what happened? The next morning, my wallet and my watch had disappeared. I suppose that's what you get for being a good Samaritan. Mm-hmm. And you didn't get any, any benefit out of that thing? I do not believe you. I don't. You stink of sin and lies. If you are going to sleep with a lady of the night, Clayton, I would advise you to be cautious. I can't really be mad at her, though. She's just trying to survive. She doesn't have many options. Yeah, well, that's true. Uh, about your relationship with Christina. Was it wise to become so intimate with a woman you were supposed to interview, Clayton? Maybe it was. But I have learned to look for the inner truth and beauty in people. Yeah, well, just because you fucked up... A woman to hire? <laughs> uh, you're right. You lack... Oh, oh yes. Let's, let's, let's pin him down. I know more than enough to understand your situation. For a reporter, you certainly lack impartiality. I would have expected more open-mindedness from an educated man like you, Dr. Reed. If you have no further wisdom to impart, I shall take leave. Oh, come on! Really? Okay. Oh, fuck. Nobody told me that I can fail that thing. Oh, what you look at fucky that. And in the end, he fucked me. Christina Popper claims she sells her body because she can't find any other work. Do you believe her? Of course I do. Her story is exactly what I want my readers to understand. We live in an intolerant and divided nation. Do you think things will ever change, Mr. Darby? I believe the situation can only improve. And now that women can vote, I'm convinced things will change. Mm -hmm. To the wars. <laughs> Look at Europe. <laughs> Ah, oh, nothing interesting whatsoever Bye, here. Farewell. Shit, I just failed two fucking clues. I wanted to fuck the guy. In the end, I got fucked by him. Okay, Christina Popa, uh, I have one final clue for you. God damn it. Okay, let's ask about the wallet. Did you steal Clayton Darby's wallet? Tell me the truth, Christina. Of course I stole it. But I never thought he would come back to look for it. Why did you do it? He seems to trust you. For a time, I thought he was different from other men. In the end, he just wanted to sleep with me. Same as the others. Hmm. 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 Okay. You stole from him. Okay, that's not gonna be the good uh, response. Perhaps Clayton is different. Money and passion rarely, rarely mingle well. Hmm. Money and passion? Okay, fuck it, let's go with this one. Mixing money with passion rarely delivers a beautiful story. Lucky me. I don't believe in beautiful stories anyway. Really? Uh, I'm so bad Goodbye. at getting the clues and investigations apparently in this game. Suck a dick, both of you. Now, where the hell is the other his? Okay. Hello, old man. We need to talk. Yes? Yes, life in London. Ah, there you go. Now we have some. Why not publish Nicotcott's work? Did you refuse to publish Richard Nithercott's previous works, Darius? Yes, his manuscript is as pompous as he is starched. 
No, there's a man who loves the sound of his own voice. You could have told him so. As a great writer recently said, politeness is the most acceptable hypocrisy. <laughs> Smart ass. Tell me everything you know about Camellia, the mute florist. I do not believe in the afterlife, Doctor, but I'm almost convinced Camellia is an angel. She volunteered to give out our medical leaflets. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not a lot of info. I can't be. Copinos over here. Personal questions. Okay, you don't have anything else. How in the shit I'm supposed to get. Tell me. I do. Is she really? Who is she? She is not from around here. You say okay, she I've has no already asked you about this thing when I first time you not, asked you about you her. Okay, I think I have Goodbye. to look for the event between Camellia and the writer. Yeah, I think that's what the exact needs to happen. So basically I need to locate them and I need to follow them and hopefully at some point they're gonna do a stupid shit and I'll be able to actually check them out. Ah, there you go. Do you like my living out of your writing? You don't really make a living from your scribblings, do you, Richard? No, sir, I don't. I work so hard. I put all my time, my energy, my devotion into the precise carving of words. Mm -hmm. And yet you suck. A rich artist is rar. You should do something more useful. You don't seem to suffer from poverty. Okay, let's go with this one. When she was younger, my mother was a painter and a poet. She told me many times how poor her artist friends were and how she helped them. My parents pay for my rent, my food and my clothes. All I have to give them in return is lies they do not believe. You seem embarrassed. Someday I hope to proudly offer my first publication to my parents. Until that day, I'll remain the failure of a son they have to support. You pathetic piece of shit. Uh, okay, anything else I could try to do with you? I don't I'll think so. Alone, yeah, so Camellia. Hmm. Yeah, okay, but how, how she is related now to the poet? Where the hell are they? Uh, okay, have all of this thing, all of this thing. Oh, okay, I solved all of this thing as well. Okay, so that's one issue. Now those guys. Oh my god. So there's one of those morons, and apparently the other one is sitting over here. Shot? No, he's alive. I believe. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Hey, hey, hey. Politely, maybe, okay? Okay, nothing over here. Okay, nothing over here. Okay, can I do a checkup? Do you need a sit- I'm alright, but if you fancy giving me the medication, I can put- Okay, apparently- Goodbye, young- I cannot do anything with you. Okay, is there like any items around I could try to use? How? I think I have to like look for a clue. For a clue that I can somehow use against those guys. Yeah, I would love to, but apparently- He's checking all of the fucking judgments around, but he's not giving me any information whatsoever. Do you know? Yeah, I don't think you know anything about this because the way this game works is that those people in a group are like related to one another and I'm supposed to look within this group in order to find like the ideas how to solve an issue one way or another. So I think I have to like work around. Wait, but this is not gonna give me anything. Where in the shit? Details. Okay, hint locket, hint locket, hint locket. I think I need to look for like a letter or something to actually like solve their uh, their problem. And since I cannot find any clues around, let's just take a look at. Oh, okay. <laughs> Large beast level 16. Oh, okay. I don't want. I don't think I want to be near that place. Actually, I kind of like wonder can I force those guys to fight with one another? I mean, from when does the vampires go along with werewolves? Come on, guys. And I'm gonna gi uh, guide you to this guy over here. Okay, have fun. <laughs> I just hope they won't try to... <laughs> okay, they are going after me. Oh, come on, really? You're fighting w together against me? Oh, this is so fucked up. What the fuck is the dog? Ah, oh, shit, he disappeared, really? Oh, there he is, okay. Maybe they're gonna fight with one another. I don't know, let's see. No, apparently the werewolves are allied with the vampires. 
What kind of stupid episode of Twilight is this anyway? Excuse? Okay. I'm just gonna walk slowly and steady behind you and stun you. <laughs> Ouch. That's gonna be a pain. Oh fuck. Oh, for dude, 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 dude. Really, stop doing the things you're supposed to do, okay? Gentlemen, would you mind to follow me? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, like, I hope you will. You're not following me. Oh, by the love of God, really? What do you need? You need a fucking invitation on paper to actually, like, follow me? Wake up! There you go. Okay, now, let's. I hope that the wolf won't follow, actually. Okay, I cannot activate my senses, which is like, super nice. Dude, this shit. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. That was really, really nice. Okay. No. Oh, no. There you go. And I'm gonna drink you now. Mmm, delicious blood. Yes. Yes, delicious. Okay. No. Fall away. Fall away. No. There you go. One punch. <laughs> One punch. No. Dude, seriously. <laughs> okay. You're all dead. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice combat. Should I try to challenge the wolf? I don't think so because the wolf, the wolf is extremely really dangerous. So let's just avoid him for now, okay? What's this? Great, I found money. Do I look like somebody who needs money? Oh, no, you wanted to... <laughs> Check the trash bin, not eat the rat, you moron. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, great, one of those. I think I just made like a full circle. What the fuck is doing to that trash bin over there? Okay, steady and slowly follow him. Steady and slowly, steady and slowly. Yes, 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 keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> that was nice. And keep punching. Okay, fall back a little tiny bit. Okay, recharge, 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 recharge. Okay, come on, perform your stupid attack. Bad move. <laughs> oh, you guys are so weak. Extremely bloody weak. Okay, die. Right, that was easy. Now, what you were trying so hard to get out of the trash bin? Common handle part. Really? Really? This is the thing you tried to get out? Oh my god, man. Apparently right now I'm in the far corner of Whitechapel. Which is not exactly super nice, you know? But I think this is gonna allow me to have access to new, like, resources and new paths. And maybe there's gonna be some... Oh, fuck. Not those guys. What's this? Okay, great. Hideout unlock. Oh, wonderful! I can save. Okay, everybody dead. Oh, this is this is something new. Okay, awesome. I have found myself a new hideout, which is very, 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 very. Oh, oh, oh yes, exactly the thing I need, more or less. And a trash bin inside. How lovely! I have my very own trash bin, trash can. Okay, and I think I can. No, I cannot. Wait, what I can? Crap. Oh. Would you look at that? I needed that guy. He's related to the merchant. And I can craft over here. Okay. Can I craft the thing for... I don't have the necessary resources. Fucking hell. Oh, shit. Bring a skull. Okay, and I... Ah, there's the guy I need to, like, go into. Fucking shit. I have to fight through you. Oh, well. Okay, guys. Let's make this thing quick. Okay, shall we? <laughs> don't move. I'm just gonna take your blood. Why the fuck that guy is retreating? This is something is fishy about this thing, you know? Okay. Come on. Oh shit! That's why he's retreating. Oh, this is like the super skag. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I hate fighting with you. Oh crap, he's gonna call back up. No, 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 no. He's the elite one. He's like the very, very, Hard one to kill. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's try this thing. One more fucking. Oh, oh what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Working like a badass. No, no, target the other one. The other one. Okay, there you go. Okay, now steady and slowly work towards him. Stun luck. <laughs> now I'm gonna drink your blood. Like there's no tomorrow. And I'm gonna slice you now. There you go. And kill you before you're gonna call backup. Shit. Okay, now we call backup. So, one high, one hit. No. Shit, okay. I have to watch out for my... Ah, oh, fuck! I have to watch out for my stamina and my HP. No! Shit, okay, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. Okay, how about Plumby? 
How about we're just gonna try to run away? I don't know what this actually is possible. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm so. Oh, fuck off. Okay, this is too many. I cannot fight with six enemies on level 16 or 14 when I am level 4. Okay, let's just teleport up there. Okay, now I'm supposed to go so... Ah, there he is. Okay. Apparently I have to go over here. Hello? <laughs> have you noticed you have vampires in your neighborhood? Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. <laughs> Miss Mara is level 3 quiet. Really? <laughs> I went all of this thing, all of this trouble to get to this point where I cannot talk to the guy, I cannot do anything. Alright, I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Also, you have vampires outside of your home. You motherfucker. Oh, Really? All this thing, all of this like walking and... Ah, oh, this is so... B oh! Oh! Hmm. I kinda like wonder can I use this thing for my, for my own advantage. If I'm gonna stand up here... Yeah, I think I can fight here! I may actually try to do that thing later on. I don't know, we're gonna see. Uh, right, so there's like a park over here. I do wonder if there are like more important persons, persons, people, oh, graveyard, Jesus, oh, scary, spooky, oh, graveyard, oh, I don't want to be over here, what the fuck is this? Okay, this, I saw this thing shining, but apparently I cannot do anything with this. Hmm. Why there is a graveyard over here? <laughs> this is creepy. Even if I'm a vampire, this, can I have my very own crypt somewhere around? <laughs> <laughs> that actually wouldn't be a surprise for me. Okay, now Penty, if I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna get back to Pombrook Hospital one way or another. Wow. Oh, this one is shining. Clay Cox. Wait, I've heard that name. The music all of a sudden got very spooky, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck my life. Okay, there are more guys over here who apparently like to fight with me. So if I'm gonna move very slowly, very slowly. Okay, hello. And punch you like a few times. No, stop teleporting around, you motherfucking piece of shit. I'm not crazy. You are crazy. You're the one crazy one. No. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, that's a fancy attack. Shit. I hate this. I hate this. This is the worst when they actually like they jump on you and they drink you and they like. Ugh. Okay, stop doing that shit, okay? Thank you. Like level 14, like two of them is not that bad. More of them, more than like those amount is, is like an issue. That's, that's like a problem. That's when the things go south. And everything goes south actually. Uh, okay, ooh. More of the vampires over there. Okay, you know what? I, for now, I'm not gonna try to fight with you. There's a vampire somewhere over here as well. In the house, apparently. Did I just made something stop? No, there's no vampires detecting me. What is this? Okay, there's like a bunch of rats over here. I can go into this house. Okay. There's this guy, and he's not expecting me, apparently. Okay. Hello, good sir. <laughs> Have you ordered the visit of the doctor? <laughs> oh, fuck, he resisted. Fucking hell. No, dude, attack him. There you go. Ugh. Sometimes you're gonna, I'm gonna get myself killed. Goodbye. <laughs> now, what is this place? Oh, great. I'm, I'm finding some kind of like medicines apparently around this place. This place is scary. They were living next to a fucking ass graveyard. The fuck is wrong with you people? Okay, teleport. Okay. Hide that fountain. Hmm. Where the fuck am I? Oh! I'm at Pombrook! Almost! And of course I had to find more people. Jesus, okay, I'm gonna get up absolutely I'm gonna be standing over here. Where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm over here. This is not exactly- Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Hello! <laughs> Alert! Yeah, too slow, man. Too slow. A little bit too slow. But hey, you at least try to do your job. I'm gonna give you that. No, 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 no. Guys. Yes, that's me. <laughs> he was holding his block, and I cannot do anything to him. Oh, okay. Stop. 
slicing me. Dude, this is really... Okay, I'm really fucking tired of you. Really tired. Like, really, really tired right now. So how about you're not gonna embrace into the cold arms of death itself? There you go. See? Wasn't that hard. You just have to stop breathing and everything will be okay. Oh, fuck off, man. Uh... Okay, can teleport up the Oh, level 20. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Level 20 is way too much even for me. You know, there is this amount of digs that I can suck per day. Alright? And that limit has been reached already. Hmm. The canals? Door has been unlocked. Okay, and I think I see... Okay, I see one of those guys. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know what you tried to achieve over there, good sir. But, you know, you're gonna become my snack for tonight. Uh, I'm trying to hit you. There you go. And twice and goodbye. Okay. See? <laughs> He's relaxing himself. Oh, man. Okay, more of you. Re oh, fuck off. Okay, that's a lot of people that possibly want me killed. And another one working over there. Great. Okay, so how about we're gonna perform the run like a bitch tactic? Hello. Good morning. I am staying away. <laughs> Trust me on that. I am staying away. Oh, fuck off. Okay, they didn't notice me. I'm gonna have to like go back later on there and like finish them off. Ah, Pombrook Hospital. Status healthy. Oh, it's so good to be back. Oh, it's so good to be back. Okay, so uh, we've managed to do like a bunch of stuff today. Like really, really, really a lot. Uh, failed like a bunch of times in the combat. I really need to get like the improvements. Otherwise, this is just not gonna fucking pay off. I'm just gonna keep dying to every single motherfucking stupid creature that is around. They basically outlevel me, so I cannot even compare it to them with the health pool. So, you know, this is basically how it works. So, looks like we have to take a bed, sleep, and try to evolve the character a little tiny bit. Because otherwise, this is just gonna be a pain in the ass to do the combat thingy. And you have to do the combat, apparently, because for the reasons. Unless I can find a way to upgrade my weapon in a very fashion crazy way. But I don't think this is possible. I can upgrade the uh, two hands. Oh, wait, actually, I can upgrade the weapon. Well, well, well. And I can upgrade it to level 3 even. That's going to increase its damage. Okay, increase damage there by 20%. As 3 stone points when the weapon hits. It's either this or this. Oh, would you look at fucky that? Okay, and I have all the necessary components to do so. Okay, I would like to get this thing, please. Because... Increase stamina consumption by 10%. Actually, this is also quite good. But I think I prefer to have these stun points. Stamina increase... Wait, if I'm gonna get this thing... Wait, uh, decrease damage by 10% and three stun points. Oh. Oh, really? So this is how it works. Well, well, well. Okay, and if I'm gonna get more parts, I can upgrade this thing to the next level. Oh, this makes a lot of more sense. Okay, okay, okay. I've made a goof. I should have upgraded the weapon a long time ago. All right, so I think this is actually a good point to get this episode right here. We're gonna upgrade the character even more in the next episode, and then we're gonna do some main quest events, and then... I need to get more mesmerized levels so I'll be able to continue investigation of Whitechapel. Well, that's gonna be the thing that's gonna happen in the next episode because for now, I'm gonna leave it as of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the next episode. Please please the absolute. I'll see you all in the next video.